Hello everyone! In my previous video, I talked about how to set up a Raspberry Pi as a headless server. And in today's video, I'd like to show you how to set up the Python development environment on Raspberry Pi. At first, let's log in to our Raspberry Pi. Okay, let's install the packages required for the Python programming environment. Now we are ready to create the Python virtual environment. So I'm going to use this command to create a virtual environment. So this is going to be in the home directory. Now we have created a Python virtual environment. Let's check it with this ls command. You can see here, this is our Python virtual environment. And it is inside the home directory. Here, slash .py. So to use this virtual environment, we always have to remember that this is in the home directory. So now let's activate this virtual environment with this command over here. So if you are in a different folder, then you have to enter the home directory, which is this, and then slash. If you are in the home directory, then you don't need this part. You only need this, okay? So from a different directory, you do this, okay? You can see here, now we are in a virtual environment, which shows the name of the virtual environment is over here. So all the commands or packages we install from now on will be in this virtual environment. For example, I can install the gpio0 package from here. Okay, now you can see I installed one package into this virtual environment. If I want to deactivate this virtual environment, I just type deactivate. So you can see here now I exited this of course, you can also create a project folder and then create a virtual environment inside of that project. Let's see, I'm going to create a project folder called uh, Projects. And then I go to these projects and then create a project folder. I can call it uh, Project 1. And then I go to this Project 1 folder and now over here I can create a new Python virtual environment and uh, I can call it a virtual environment 1 virtual environment VE1 okay so this virtual environment is going to be inside of this folder we can also check the virtual environment and now we can activate this virtual environment like before you can see here now we are inside of this virtual environment and in this virtual environment is really new I don't think it has some packages you can see here it only has two packages there's no other packages so if we go back to the previous if we deactivate this one and then we activate our old pattern virtual environment then we will see more packages as we installed before over here so now let's activate our previous Python virtual environment, which is inside the home directory. You can see here, this is our previous virtual environment. And inside of this virtual environment, we installed another package already. So GPIO0 package. You can see here, now we have GPIO0 package inside of this virtual environment. But in the second virtual environment, inside of this folder over here, we don't have the GPIO package. Once you are inside of this .venv virtual environment, you can run any Python program that depends on the packages you have already installed inside of this virtual environment. If you haven't done it, you can install the package the same way as we did it before. Once you have all the required packages, you can run any Python program as you wish. That's all for today. Okay, I hope you learned something about a virtual environment in this video. 
Please leave your questions and suggestions in the comment section below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. See you next time. Bye-bye.